wonderful ipop gained another international recognition over partnership training and exchange of arms the indigenous people of biafra ipop has reportedly formed an early with a separatist movement in cameroon so they can train in combat operations and exchange arms and weapons while IPOP through the Eastern Security Network is fighting Nigerian security forces to establish the Biafran Republic in the Southeast, the Amazonian War of Liberation AWL and Amazonian Defense Forces ADF are pushing to break away from Cameroon. The leadership of AWL announced that they have established a relationship with IPOP towards pursuing a common goal of political and economic liberation on April 10, 2021. Also, Namde Kano and the leader of AWL, Dr. Lucas Cho Ayaba, have indicated plans to work together in the struggle for their two regions. According to a recording of a Zoom meeting posted on social media, which was shown by the IPOP leader, we are in the know of what is happening we are closely monitoring a security source who did not want to be named said there is a link between them because the ambazonians militants are offering training to ipop members another source said the analysis by foreign police showed that the two groups agreed to work to secure their shared border and ensure an open exchange of weapons and personnel. In the agreement of IPOP Ambazonian, whose leader, both Kanu and Ayaba, as beheading the insurrections from abroad, pledged their determination to forge a close alliance and accelerate international atten attention to grant them the right to self-determination from their mother countries, Nigeria and Cameroon. They noted that people in the two areas are allegedly subjugated to oppression and underdevelopment, which was worsened by colonialism and neocolonialism, noting that the trend was to keep the entire Africa continent under subjugation. Over the years, our grandfathers and grandmothers have stomached this Boko people pro productively with the hope that somehow it will go away but it is clear to us that after so much turning of the other cheek as well as payment in blood these bullies never ever became reasonable instead it has emboldened them this is part of the reason biafrans and ambazonians are coming together we are coming together to rediscover our shared biological and cultural heritage. So far, even though our struggle for freedom have shared different trajectories, Biafrans and Amazonians have a shared destiny. Our collective destiny is once again to lead the continent of Black Africa to achieve the type of civilization and humanity would marvel at it just like our Bantu ancestors did when they civilized the whole of the known world around them. In the coming days, we, the Piafrans and Amazonians, will be communicating to the world in sequence as the need arises. Our blueprint for cooperation preparatory to the re-emergence of our nation, he said. Why Ayoba said the relationship between their people dated back in history, recalling that the people who were originally part of the Eastern region in 1961 moved a motion at the Eastern House of Assembly in Enugu to rejoin French-speaking Cameroon with their regional capital in Boa. As you have said, we are one people, interculturally linked, but I also want to remind Ambazonians that I take your concern seriously. That is why an alliance is split into three phases. There is the need to ensure that both people are liberated from the tyranny 
imposed on them and to establish within them a transitional period method of collaboration and cooperation to dismantle the economic blockade that has impoverished our two nations. And within this period, there will be massive constitution with Ambazonia to ensure that any treaty that will be binding on the two nations will be approved by the Ambazonian people, he said. According to our source, findings shows that people from the English-speaking part of Cameroon, the home to the agitators for the Amazonian state, have always had an easy passage into Nigeria because of common heritage with Nigerians from Cross River State. There have been reported concerns over the possible link between the rise in violence agitation for self-determination by IPOP militants and the connection they established in Cameroon. Hmm. My dear viewers, you see, you can see the recognition of IPOP. Who are those people that are saying that IPOP is an illegal group? If IPOP is an illegal group, who will want to partner with them? This one happens to be very close, uh, very close uh, uh, country here that is also working hard to break away from where they are. Now, they, they have seen IPOP to be a very legal and recognized group with a sound security outfit. So they have decided to do things in common with them because they believe in their security outfit. Because they have confidence in their security outfit. If they don't have confidence in the security outfit, what will warrant them to want to have anything to do with them? Nothing. Nothing. But because of the confidence, because of the belief they have that this is a reliable security outfit, this is a reliable group. That is why. That is why you see that they decided, they decided to take part. Abba, my dear viewers, I don't know what Nigerian government truly wants from, from the IPOPs. I don't know. Buari, coming into power, the first thing he did was to proscribe IPOP, an armless group. An armless group. We have the Boko people who suppose who suppose to 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 to, to have been long prescribed. Probably left them pretend it doesn't know what's happening. What am I trying to drive out? What I'm trying to drive out is the difference between the iPod that is prescribed and the book the the, the, the Fulani headsmen that are allowed to walk freely and also the Amazonians and other countries that has been struggling and you know working seriously to see that they do things in common with the IPOP. Now you as a as, as, as a country or as a leader will you want to have anything to do with any proscribed group or with any group that is recognized as a vocal group? Definitely you won't want to. So to let you know that even despite the prescription of IPOP, the world still recognizes IPOP as a free group, a group that is not prescribed. If the world recognizes IPOP as a prescribed group, then they wouldn't have been giving them support. So what then are we talking in essence? What we are seeing in essence is that despite the fact that Nigeria recognized IPOP as a prescribed group, the world didn't recognize them as one. So let me hear from you, my dear viewers, please. Let me hear from you. Click on the red subscribe button if you're new on this very channel. If you're not new, locate the comment section. Leave your comment below the comment box so that each time we upload any new videos, you will be updated. Thank you.